Yo, I've been wanting to post a video for a little while really. Um, I'm a flat earther. I believe the earth to be flat. And obviously this subject has come up a lot recently and it's basically being ridiculed by the media. I mean, why, why would the media even have to ridicule something so stupid? Just don't even mention it. Do you know what I mean? Even Barack Obama was talking about the Flat Earth Society and how he's got no time to talk to them. Why even mention the Flat Earth Society if they're so pathetic? Well, they are, though. The Flat Earth Society basically is actually, I'd say, a government agency, something like that. It's been set up to just make us all look like idiots, basically, um, even more so than we seem to at the moment. Uh, there's just some good information on there, but mostly it's just absolute, just ridiculous claims that no flat earther, no true flat earther would would even consider. Um, most of us are actually fact-based people, and that's why we are thinking the way we are at the moment. The facts do not add up on a ball earth. The earth that NASA I used to be their biggest fans, you know. The, the earth they show us just is not what we live on. And that's where this confusion comes from. We can see far too far in the distance. Consider and say, you know, if we live on a ball, imagine this is a ball, you're here, and something's there, you should not be able to see it. But there's time after time, people are literally filming 200 miles off in the distance and they're still seeing, you know, these objects. And people are saying, oh, but you can't see the bottom half of them. Well, that is literally just due to perspective, things like that. So there's a lot, a lot that I could go through. And I'm just literally thinking this off the top of my head right now. So I'm going to miss a lot and you're just going to probably just think I'm an absolute idiot. But the maths does not add up for a ball earth, basically. That's what got my head going. Um, I'm not a mathematician, I don't claim to be. Um, and it do, I do even question, um, apparently it's eight inches per square mile. So if you go one mile, there would be an eight inch drop to follow the curve. Um, some people just think it's eight inches every mile, but then we would just live on a massive hill. Um, so at some point that curve has to come back round to meet the other end. So there has to be considerable drop to meet us back at the other end. And it just can't, anything I've watched, it cannot be recorded, this curvature. Um, and people will say, oh, it's because we're so big that you just cannot see the curvature. And all these just excuse after excuse. You should, if something is curved, you should be able to measure it, no matter what, no matter how big the curve. It's just, it's just that's the way it is. There's just excuse after excuse for this ball. Um, NASA probably is what got me into it. I did question the moon landings, and what a load of bollocks! Basically, we didn't go to the moon. There's just. It's just ridiculous. We went to the moon before we invented the internet. Yeah, okay. Um, before we invented the microwave. Yeah, right. It's just It just does not add up. I mean, that's a whole other subject in itself, but that's when we started questioning, like, well, if we didn't go to the moon, then and NASA took us there. Um, so what else are they faking, you know? And... I just started looking into it and then you realise every single picture of the Earth is a manipulated image. That is not one, just just get a camera, take a photo. We don't care if it's overexposed or there's too much light and it looks weird. We want to see the Earth from just a photo and not, ju not all these composite images that you layer up and then put this on and put that on and copy and paste everything. Just show us a picture. But you cut they, they can't basically they can't show us a picture. The ISS, I don't know what's going on there. I really don't. I mean, I've seen videos of people literally on harnesses and wires, um, and there's no mention. I mean, if they was to just say, oh, you know, it's a bit turbulent up there, we need harnesses and wires to keep us. There's no mention of harness and wires, and they're on them when they're doing their little spins. 
they're literally just on 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 a harness basically and it's it's ridiculous there's been i mean it's basically just like blue screen cgi a lot of effort going into this guys and it it looks real come on i mean but there's certain things where a guy will go from one side and just go st straight into a doorway and he's halfway through and just starts to disappear like he's you know this is computer generated imagery it's it's, it's that is exactly what it is there's just there's hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of little triggers that when you start looking and you think that's not right that's not right that's not right this is when it starts to add up in your head and you just think well okay like you know not everything is going to be right about this earth we might get things wrong but when you start thinking literally like 90% of basically everything i'm told i now don't believe the uh, I, I, literally the further i go the more i'm going to look like an idiot because you have to just look into this yourselves um most people that start the flat earth sort of looking into it and start thinking oh my god like you know we're intelligent people we look into life and we want to know the reasons for our ex existence and we all believe the big bang or come from another religion or something but you know the big bang is a religion there's no proof it ever happened and we are literally taught it that this is what happened the big bang we were created from nothing and nothing turned to everything and consciousness was formed out of nothingness and you know and then you start to think actually i don't know who said the quote but they said you have to have more faith to believe in the big bang than you do to believe in a creator and you know i'm not talking about god or you know any other you know sort of power of religions and things like that but i look at it from intelligent design basically um this is you know randomness cannot create what we live in right now it really cannot you know um should we be this good looking do you know what i mean like wh where does looks come into it you know oh selective breeding oh it's just it's just terrible i mean you know I, I, I could just run on through so much here but i just look at the facts flat earthers are about factual data and like i say i'm not a scientist i'm not a mathematician i don't know that the earth is flat i think it is through what i myself as have experienced and through oh yeah videos on youtube you know there's lots of good videos on youtube and i used to watch pro astrology astronomy and well i know they're two completely different things but astronomy and just believe these pictures of jupiter that they're showing me and come on i mean look at these pictures guys they are they are cartoon images and any amateur telescope that looks through that sky at these planets and stars they all look the same they're just balls of energy just twinkling and changing color and it's it's absolutely amazing and obviously nasa will say oh it's because these stars are so far away and planets are so far away that the time the light gets to touch your your telescope that it's doing this and that and you know you're just seeing the light waves and bollocks like bollocks you cannot your eyes cannot lie to you like that like oh the light oh the sun's 93 billion or million miles away is it really like do you think we'd get such hot summers and cold winters if something was heating us up from that far away and we're told the angle of our spin is what causes the seasons no come on guys like do you really think like something's 93 million miles away up here and like the sun is just this well the earth is this tiny 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 little dot and we angle like a little bit more that way and that creates like literally differences on temperature on the earth from minus 40 to plus 40 like come on like it's there's just so many things that when you actually think about it they are so ridiculous that it, it just does not make sense and people will say oh it's because you're you're not intelligent enough to understand 
Nobody is. Nobody is intelligent enough to understand that. It's all theory. It doesn't matter how far these stars are away. If you halve the distances, the math is just still exactly the same. Like, the North, the North Star just hovers above the North Pole. Like, if we are in this, like, expanding, tumbling world and universe, and it would be so random... But we see the same stars, the same thing, time after time after time, rotating around us.